Should I do more? Yeah. I can. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to wait for the next one. Um, okay, so uh, let's move on. Next, I have the privilege to introduce our next speaker. Uh, and actually, I'm very privileged to have her on my team. Uh, the next speaker is somebody who's first time in the industry. And I remember when, we, when I first met her in 2010, you know, she was just fresh, um, like a white blank piece of paper. Uh, she worked hard, uh, threw the ups and downs, started traveling international, built her business all over the world. I think her business is probably in close to 100 countries today. And first time, first time in this industry. So she's one of the brightest stars in Jeunesse. Please welcome. Put your hands together. Give her your presence for Double Diamond Yvonne Yen. to share the same stage with all the Hollywood celebrities. But really, to me, it is a more honor for me to be a part of this great event with so many amazing people like you. <laughs> to me, you are the true celebrity of life. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. <laughs> are you excited for the event? I am. Ten years in a row, I'm still excited with every single event of the company. So the topic today is lead with your why. If I ask many of you, do you have a why for your road of entrepreneurship? I bet many of you would say yes. If I ask you further, do you know what your why is? And with 10 years of traveling around the world, building with different teams, the most popular why I have heard are like, I want financial freedom. Am I right? What about, I want to take care of family? What about, I want to be a diamond? How many of you want to be a diamond? Well, all those whys are not wrong. But they can be some effective ones. They can motivate you throughout the entire journey so that you can reach your destination quicker. There's a saying, he who has a why can endure any how. So what I would like to do to spend the next 10, 15 minutes is to give you some guidelines to define your why. And it's not really a training. I would like to do an exercise with you. Are you okay with that? So that you can reach your destination quicker. The first guideline to define your why is your why need to be meaningful enough to inspire you to take actions. Just now, we talk about I want financial freedom, I want to take care of the family, I want to become a diamond. If you try to insert your loved ones, the ones that are meaningful to you, it will resonate with you more. Then just apply the why to ourselves. So think about it. Who are your loved ones? Who are your meaningful ones? Because when you start to insert your loved ones, even with the names into your why, you will feel your why get elevated. It become more vivid and personal. So think about it. Who are the ones that are meaningful to you? So for example, I want financial freedoms. Who are the loved ones that you want to spend your monies? 
with. So when you apply to this guideline, your why of having a financial freedom can become like this. I want to send my children, Ashley and Laura, to the best college. I insert my loved ones into the sentence. I want to send my elderly parents to their dream destination, Italy. Well, people often say, if your why does not make you cry, it's not good enough. I don't know about that, but I do know. If you do your why correctly with your loved ones, every single time, when you read about your why, your heartbeat should go faster. Are you with me so far? Yes. So go home, think about it. Write down, write down the loved ones, insert their names, because every time you read your why's, you should have goosebumps. And when you have the why's, it will become a 3D picture. When you have a 3D picture of your why in front of you, with who are in the pictures, what do you plan to do with your loved ones? I guarantee you would do anything to make it a real one. The second guidelines to apply to your why is your why need to be ambitious enough to make you uncomfortable. When you have your why big enough, it should outweigh any excuses. Think about it. When your friend doesn't want to see you, when your friend say no to you, I don't want to join you, or when your team member, for whatever the reason, they decide not to continue their journey, does it really matter? Does it really matter compared to sending my children to the best college? Does it really matter compared to sending my parents to their dream destination. With 10 years of traveling in the trenches, building the teams, I often find out every time when the team members come to me for their problems, for their issues, at the end of the day, I realize the main reasons they view their problems as a big problem is usually due to the fact their why is not big enough. Am I correct? Life is all about perspective. About six months ago, I did an exercise with my team members. There are about 400 people participate in this exercise around the world. There are two steps into the exercise. And I encourage all of you can do this with your team leader at home. The first step is write down your why. Before they learning how to define their why correctly. I think it's not too difficult to do. I want to become a diamond. I want to take care of the family. I want to be rich. And the other side, I want them to write down their problems. They can write down all the problems they encounter building their business. The team member don't answer the call. The team member don't participate, participate in the events. You named it. So that is the first part of the exercise. After we go through the roadmap of defining our why correctly, the next day, I ask them to redo the exercise again. Write down their whys. This time, they insert their loved ones with the name. And they clearly spelled out what do they want to do with their loved ones. It's a 3D picture of their why. 
Now they need to work on the problems. Very interesting. Somehow, after you go through this exercise, the same problem still exists, but they look at it differently. Because when you have a big why, a meaningful why, an ambitious why, the problems become fading out. So how many of you want to try this exercise? <laughs> try that. So next time, when I ask you, what is your why? Financial freedom, becoming a diamond, all those are good. But if you really want to go deep, write down what resonates with you. Because I found out human powers, human humanity has such a great power. Sometimes we would do more to our loved ones than do to ourselves. Are you with me so far? It's not about I want to become rich. I think it's more importantly for me to be able to become a provider to my children, to my elderly parents. And when you apply your loved ones, we want to reach out to our loved ones more than just do it to ourselves. So this is a very interesting exercise. The third guideline about defining your why is your why need to be specific enough to measure the progress. So now you have a 3D picture in front of you, a beautiful dream destination, vacation with your family, or your children are able to go to any college they choose to. The next step is start to calculate how much it will cost you. And then how much money you have to save. Once you, you have that number, you need to break down and convert that into your action. So you can calculate, set up your goal year by year, month by month, week by week, and even day by day. So for my teams, I suggest, for those of you who treat this business seriously, you got to meet three people a day. This is a coffee to coffee, latte to latte business. Whatever the drink you want to have. No alcohol though. Once you have the alcohol, you forget about everything. <laughs> and if you cannot do three drink a day, three coffee a day, it is okay, try to do two. Because my background, I used to be a financial advisor. I believe in numbers, numbers don't lie. When you convert your goals into your activities and break down the activity into your daily, daily goals, daily meetings, even the phone numbers, the phone calls, it's not that hard. Because instead of looking at the big goal, financial freedom, wow, so far away, it's hard to reach. But now you just need to tell yourself, hmm, all I need to do is to find three people to have a coffee with me a day. I'm gonna find three people to share the story with, to listen to their stories, and then convert that into your productivities. So one of my whys many, many years ago is to retire my husband. How many of you want to retire your spouse or you want to be retired? That is a fun goal. So my husband used to be a software engineer. We have a two young children. So I talked to myself, the potential of this amazing global platforms compared to his career. It would be fun if I can retire my husband. Well, I insert my loved ones into my why. And it is indeed an ambitious goal and also make me uncomfortable as well. Because when my husband doesn't go to work, after we send two kids to school, it's just him and I at the home. <laughs> it does make me uncomfortable. <laughs> but hey, I think the most priceless, priceless item is not how much you have, 
is how much quality time you can have with your loved ones. So I was, I'm glad I applied the three principles. And with a blink of eyes, my husband has retired for five years. Why we come to this journey? Why we want to take rejections from friends? Why we need to attend countless meetings after meetings? That's because we have a dream. We have a goal. So you rather make your goal meaningful. And more importantly, you rather to do it right to make your goal, your dream, a real. After you got the three guidelines, all you need to do is embed your why into your daily activities. Why? When you have your why, it's like a navigation. It gives you a 3D picture. Because a lot of time, people focus on what and how instead of focus on their original motor, which is their motivation, which is our why. So I hope through this few minutes of talk, your why, this subject, is simple, but not so simple. I will encourage all of you to do this easy exercise after the event. Answer your loved ones. Make your dream and goal big enough to make you uncomfortable. And then work with your team leaders to break down into your goals, into your daily activities. And with this journey of entrepreneurship, it may not be easy all the time, just like any other business. But I guarantee you, next time, when you are at the crossroad of your journey, stop and ask yourself, what is my why? Because when we have our why in our hands, with our heart, and we take it seriously, your life will become much simpler. So with that, I hope you enjoy the next two days of events, and I will see you at the top. Thank you.